Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's Overwatch action. We will start off with a pause, getting started early. I'm Josh, and as always, joined by my co-host, Ted Sabeel. Ted, besides the sickness, how are you feeling today? I am feeling right as rain. I'm feeling on hold, though, with this pause, but I am <laughs> excited for tonight's ECAC match between the St. Rhodes Golden Knights Overwatch Team A mm -hmm. against the New York Institute of Technologies. What was it? Cybears? Cybears. I love that name. <laughs> It's no, uh, it's no blue hens as we saw the other day. We've seen some weird ones so far, but Cyber, you know, it's not bad. Uh, but we will keep an eye on the Saint Rose side of things tonight. Once we do end up getting started here, uh, any comments before we get started about what to expect out of the Golden Knights here tonight? Well, we've seen them on Busan a lot this season, and I think they've done a really good job adapting their DPS strategies. Busan lends itself really well for a lot of rather unorthodox approaches. You have your main approach, which has a lot of high ground both for you and your uh, opponent team if they have high mobility heroes you have your kind of like reach around approach if you go down the right and mm -hmm. just meet the uh, opponent team halfway right there on the point right. so there is plenty of options there for the gold knights as always double shield is in full force however with jafar on reaper this is bound to be a very interesting match mm -hmm. it appears we do have a disconnect though which would explain the pause so yep. please bear with us for a few moments please enjoy, the, enjoy uh, the teriyoti music my yes. goodness just waiting for the technical difficulties to C9, and then we shall begin. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'll give you the music back. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of colorful names, the names for the uh, Cybers I'm a really big fan of. Vibe check. <laughs> Checking, one, two, three. Vibe check. But we will see who... Er, We'll see how long this uh, the disconnect takes to uh, get resolved here. Uh, we do hope that you stick with us after the Team A matchup tonight. We will join directly into Team B as they're taking on Paul Smiths. Uh, not sure how far into that we'll be joining, but we do hope you'll stick around for that. Uh, Ted may have to leave me and go and get his scratch house and cigarettes, but we shall see, and you'll have to deal with this voice for a little while One longer. One of these days, I will get my big break, Josh. Through the day that you criticize my life choices. <laughs> like, got a nice little bodega <laughs> here in Dirty Olives I like to go to get my scratch offs. <laughs> you know, in this double shield meta, man, it's gonna happen. <laughs> I just, you know, Lucio, like, wall ride on into the uh, stewards. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so, fun trivia for the fans back home Port is actually the in game username for our St. Rose Overwatch coach, Dan. However, one of the Golden Knights will be using his account for tonight's ECAC match. For which exact uh, Golden Knight will be using the account, we're not exactly sure, but we will find out momentarily. Speaking of uh, interesting names, though, I am a big fan of the Cybers' names. Aki, Oh, Rabbit let me C. throw those on screen for you, just so... And you can enjoy the music a little better. So, Aki, Gravity, Gotarikin. I like that pronunciation. All right, uh, Satori, Neotech, and I'm going Zeiser. You can feel free to go whatever you want. I am a sheep because wool is a very fluffy texture, so I will follow your lead. <laughs> when are they gonna add a sheep hero to the game? Like we have Arisa, who's like definitely like coated. She's to a eat. horse. I always saw her as like a cow, because she seems very muggly. Well, that's rude. Like a cow. Oh. Uh, what do you mean rude? Cows <laughs> no. are a sacred animal. Like, I, you know? yeah, I I know. Oh. We're getting somewhere. Uh, see, you invoke the sacred name of the illustrious bovine, you shall have your Overwatch match. <laughs> and let's keep an eye as we do see Bort starting out in DPS, going with the Doomfist, and then we see Scrunchy and Clutch, the usual uh, double shield meta, Fitris and Dirt are your healers, Jafar the other DPS as Reaper, and let's start out watching what Jafar is up to as we get started here on Busan Control. Very well played there. Was a complete retreat from the Cybers. 
Not sure what happened to gravity there. It just kind of, uh, just kind of fell. Keep an eye, go back to Jafar as Cybears are falling back to point a little bit. Strunchy with another accretion. That's too early on here. 22% on the objective and no one really threatening at the moment. Dirk with coalescence before we could... I'm surprised that he... Didn't I, have it sooner? I oh, thought yeah, he had it during too. the pause. <laughs> 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 we'll see how long it is until that comes out. As it looks like Ryan is going to push the team ahead here for the Cybears. Who's that up ahead? That That's a Doomfist, yep. Doomfist just kind of stalking their prey, drops down, takes out Bort, the other Doomfist. Strunchy with the third accretion, and Dirk pops the Coalescence, able to pick off Gravity. With that Coalescence healing, clutch back up, Jafar and Strunchy cleaning up here as Satoriaki and Gatorican are all taken down. Neotech falls as well. Very good use of the damage over there just to clean up that kill. Dirk did a really good job making the call to use Coalescence just to re-swing the momentum for that team fight. We have five ultimates online for the Golden Knights for this upcoming team fight. Jafar's Death Blossoms are showstopper so we'll see how to use this for this next engagement here. Just once again coming in just to call Ooh, some havoc. Or was able to pick off the side bears reaper. However, Jeff is going to go for a very hard landing, forcing out the fortify. However, will be punished by Jafar. Jafar takes down both Gravity, Justatory, and Aki going down by Clutch. The supports and the tanks now down for the Cybers for a technical team kill, forcing a complete retreat. 90% on the clock. This will be the time for the ITs to pop all the cues that they have on standby. However, Jafar is getting into a very juicy position to shut down any advance. Gravity switching over to Tracer. This will be very huge for a last minute stall by the Cybers. Dropping it from below from the shield. A lot of that will get sucked up by the shield. However, he will take out one of the DPS and supports from the Cybers. Make that another tank on top of that. I don't know if he's doing touch yet. Yeah. yeah, he does. But taken out immediately. And will that do it for round one? We'll see if they touch. They cannot. The Golden Knights will take round one here on Busan. Very cute emo there by Clutch as game one will go to the Golden Knights. A very well coordinated offensive there, doing a really good job using their resources fittingly to keep the approach of the Cybers away from the point. Just a lot of pressure, not giving them a lot of wiggle room. We did see, uh, what, how did you pronounce the one again, Guatarican? I was going Gatorican. Gatorican? That sounds a lot more profound. I like that It's It's probably not even close to right, but well, that's, the one that's what we're rolling with. It makes you feel good, so it must be right. <laughs> so, Guatarican's approach with Doofus did have some value for the Cybears. I was able to create some havoc there, but Jafar was just really doing a great job just shutting down that approach. Clutch was able to puzz the fortifies during the last team fight when they popped the uh, meteor strikes. We'll see if they're able yeah. to carry around that resource knowledge for this next map here. For this map of song in particular, once again, there's a lot of approaches here that Bell's also go to the game's cover because the Golden Knights already applying <laughs> another so one. pressure there. Two picks make that three. Like, I, I, another one indeed. The Sprinter's accretions have just been on point. Pinpoint precision. They're basically just giant McCree bullets. Jafar <laughs> taking down Gravity's Farah on top of it as the Golden Knights will take in the first cap. And going back to what you were saying about Gatorican's uh, Doomfist in round one, we did see uh, them pop Meteor Strike in the second to last team fight. And instead of really trying to engage, well, uh, obviously tried to engage, but went right for the Supercharger, uh, it did pay off for a little while. They were able to, I, I believe they got, if not one pit, they did a ton of damage. Um, but just one of those strategies that you look at and you're like, oh, you know, all right, that made sense to do. Um, and we'll see, I believe they're back on Doomfist. No, so switching to Arisa now. Uh, oh no, it was Gravity. All right, so Farah. Anyway, shut up, Josh, you get it. As we see uh, the Cybears on point now, Rocket Barrage already for Gravity. It will take out Clutch, so they're down a tank. Picks up the Cybers off of the Golden Knights. They may be able to cap this point. Switching to the try and true Far Mercy combo seems to be paying out in spades for the Cybers. For them now on point as the St. Rose go in to contest. And the Cybers will cap the point. 51% on the map for the Golden Knights. Plenty of time for a recontest. However, through the Cybers on fire, we'll see who they carry this momentum for the next team fight. The switch to Far Mercy once again worked tremendously well for them. Mm -hmm. Now the St. Rose Golden Knights will have to change their approach as they don't really have traditional hit scan online. Right. Uh, Jafar, we saw earlier, was able to get that crucial pickoff when they first cap the point, so we'll see how he's able to position himself to make that pick work again. Right. 
And as we see here, uh, Quatch already close to Supercharger, about to get it. Fipper does have Sound Barrier. Supercharger is down, as is Sound Barrier. Jafar is coming up on Death Blossom, but not yet. Supercharger is out as well from the Psy Bears. As you see the Orisa being targeted and taken down, Fitris with two pits as well as the Supercharger is down for both teams. Zeiser did take out Fitris though. St. Rose is on point, we'll see if they can get it. They do as Satori and Zeiser and Gravity are all taken down at the end of that team fight. Jafar did a great job there with the aim and precision coming out of those shotguns. He's able to retain Death Blossom for some guaranteed uh, insurance for the upcoming team fight. With three other ultimates online, there could be a lot of combo potential here to maintain their stake on the point. However, there was a lot of damage output coming from the Cyber, so we'll definitely have some ultimates of their own to fall back on for this next team fight. However, we see Bort, like a hunter, stalking his prey. He oh. made a position for the engagement. Ooh, I think it was a pull we saw there. Dragon is together. Oh, another Rocket Barrage, though. Takes out Jafar and Quatch. Now Bort in behind, looking for the Moira, but she rates away. Quatch and Jafar are down for the Golden Knights. Bort just trying to do as much damage on the point as they can. for the far mercy combo and just Aki's really good maneuverability all around just giving a good job keeping the crucial team members topped up as long as possible 63% online now for mm -hmm. the cybers I found it. see how they engage this next team fight the draft fucks is yeah, Grafflutz is out. Jafar does have Death Blossom, able to escape that. Goes in behind this Hanzo, pops ultimate as well. Jafar able to pick off two with the Death Blossom. Now Dirt gets Zeiser as well with the uh, with the Coalescence. Bort and Dirt get pits. Gravity goes with the Rocket Barrage, pits off Dirt, but Clutch takes out Aki. A team kill for the Golden Knights, and they will take this map. A victory for the Golden Knights here on Busan. Terrific work by the Golden Knights and very well played by both teams. Match one will go to the College of St. Rose Golden Knights. Let's see this uh, pog here. Please give me an intrusion. I'm sure it's gotta be. That's all That's all scrunchy. Yep, alright. Oh, that yep. pinpoint precision. That was disgusting. <laughs> You know I'm a you know I'm a sucker for a good sigma. We'll be right back after this.
And welcome back here to Rialto as we get set for map number two, the Golden Knights, with a one to nothing lead. As the Golden Knights will also get set on defense here. We do see a bunker comp. And we'll see the full layout on your screen currently. We do also see three subs coming for the Cybears. Iona, Zealot, and Destro are all in. Let's see if I can remember. Gravity is out. Ah, you can rewind the stream. <laughs> Good answer. And we've also solved the mystery, folks. The man behind the board account is actually none other than Moop. I thought I recognized that. Very crispy DPS play from somewhere. Justice reigns from above always, as the Bunker Comp is underway here for both teams, and Destro's taken out in instance. Zealot. bit of deja vu. Rialto is a very common pick we've seen this season. It tends to be combating Bastions both on attack and defense. However, it appears that Jafar was able to get that crucial pick oh. off of the Cybers Bastion just to halt whatever momentum the Cybers intend to bring to this team fight. Rialto has a critical first choke point here, and there's a lot of open space for yep. the Golden Knights to really use that bunker comp to their full advantage, just raining down absolute hellfire on those shields, just making sure that there's very little cover for the Cybers to work with. However, a very lucrative uh, ability there by the Cyber Sigma, able to suck up some of that burst damage and uh, draw away some of that enemy fire as the rest of the team gets in position. We see some far action coming in from the right from the Cybers. However, Dirk doing a good job uh, landing Destro's plane there. We're seeing Boy just doing some cleanup work down by the payload. However, the Cybers were able to push it up just a bit so they can carry this one to the next oh. fight. Now, silence by Moop's traditional far mercy gameplay. With uh, Rocket Barrage online, we'll see if uh, Moop allows the Cybers to push that point any further. And we do see Dirt with Amp Matrix as well. Probably hanging out up near Jafar, so that's always fun if you're a Cybear. Keep an eye on Bort. Moop, what are we going with? Uh, we'll go with Bort. All right, we'll keep it going. Just because it me. However, oh, it appears that Bort has blown the cover for it. the Cybers' approach. A very interesting approach by the Cybers. It's going to go down the left side. I hope the Gold Knights were very quickly able to uh, change their strategy, accommodate that. Shutting down the shield, just getting the team out of position. Sigma once again, the Lone Ranger here, just trying to stall as long as possible. Really good usage there of the black hole just to suck up that enemy fire. However, with yeah. the justice raining from above, it just won't be enough to hold the point for the rest of the team to regroup. They just, they, they have no answer for Bort so far here on the Farah. We saw the uh, Arisa Sigma just trying to tank as much damage as they could, but they still fell. I, I think Bort got three or four there. Uh, Ooh, almost got another one, but he didn't even have to use Barrage that last fight. We're getting close to a minute and a half remaining. That cart has barely moved. There is the Rocket Barrage. It's able to take out Iona, but Zelda is able to take out Jafar, so that's a big DPS down. And Cybers could turn this around here. Immortality Field and Mercy take down as well. Destro falls off the map. I'm, I assume a boop, I hope. Neo tapped Ati and Zelda are down. St. Rose is going to turn this fight around right when it looked like it was going to the Cybers' favor. Just a nice hold there by the Golden Knights. We're seeing a lot of good and very smart resource management. I, th I, th I think Bort just fell off the map. Kind of uh, just away from everyone. It, it kind of happens. I'm it's okay. I'm trying to like, analyze the gameplay, <laughs> trying to really get in the minds of the players, and then shenanigans happen. You know, I... Ultimate coming out from Jafar here. I hear a jump rat Riptire as well. Graflots is out from the Cybears. We see the Riptire going around. Could see that on a big flank. Rocket Barrage is coming. Oh Zella with a triple on the Riptire. Bort is able to take out Destro mid-ultimate. Fitter is just trying to heal everyone up now. Scrunchy falls. Bort is able to take out Destro, but most of the Golden Knights are down. Destro is brought back up. Fitris and Bort both taken out, and the objective will continue to move here. 
less than 30 seconds to go, it will get to the first checkpoint, so we will continue with three minutes on the clock. Quick ultimate check, we do see the double taints, as well as Dirk with an amp matrix. Dirk does fall, that was good timing. So, keep an eye on how the Golden Knights plan to hold. This is one of those little tough sequences, you got a few turns right before the next, uh, the next checkpoint. Keep an eye how they decide to play it here. Strunchy with Graflots holding on to it. They will take out the Steel Trap. Fitris does bring Dirt back into the fight. The Immortality Field Amp and Amp Matrix brought out immediately as Dirt takes out Destro and Bort takes out Iona. It was working earlier for the Cybers that allowed him to push past the first choke and point there was that they were using the resources very conservatively and, you know, in a lot of good ways, like they were able to like roll out the fortify to avoid getting grouped off the map, using the black hole and sigma to draw some new fire, but they weren't staying grouped up. What is Bort doing? I I I love it, but I'm nervous. Is it, I'm nervous to see what he's doing. I think here. it's the troll under the bridge. <laughs> with the mercy attached. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, oh booped oh away a little bit. That's gonna uh, not totally maximize the damage as the immortality field also went down from both teams. Both of them taken out immediately. Aki pops to lessons, takes out clutch. Gotarikin does take out Jafara as well. Bort is the last DPS standing for the Golden Knights, just hovering above cart, minimizing the damage being done. Graflots is out as well from the Cybears and taken out mid animation board with a double there to clean up and another one can we make it four yes we can with the help of dirt and mercy as well Fortify just wasn't enough to shut down that oh that's me that damage will apply enough pressure just to force Bort just to reposition himself, get that sweet, juicy mercy healing. The Cyber isn't doing a better job of grouping up. That's what really got them past this first point. I, see, I hear Bastion yeah. singing. Yeah, that I was Jingle it, Bells again. I'm trying to make this point, and I really make it. <laughs> you will the not. The <laughs> are trying to stay together, and that's what really helped them get past the first point. However, the Gold Knights do a really good job adapting and acknowledging that strategy and doing everything they can to keep them separated. We're seeing a lot of moves coming out of Bort, just trying to keep them all spaced out to allow the rest of the team to come it's in. Really even working. when the rest of the team fall, not only, even when it's not working, Bort is doing, is doing a great job on their own, just shutting out the Cyber's approach with that above head fire. Four ultimates online, last push here for the Cybears. We'll see how they decide to use these ultimates. The Cybers do have Soldier online, a dedicated hit scan, maybe to deal with Bort's oh. impressive fire. However, with a 3k coming off of that, Jafar doing a good job shutting down with Cybers. Uh, tanks now with the DPS and healer down, make that both healers for a technical <laughs> team kill, shutting down the Hammett's last ditch effort approach. We will see round one go to the Golden Knights. Oh, everyone's on fire by Fitris. That's, that was just mean. Oh, the healer. <laughs> Always a bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> so you go to round two here. The Cybears will get ready on defense. Any thoughts on how to stop what well, looks to be just the rolling machine of the Golden Knights here? Well, the Cybers just need to develop a strategy just to deal with that oppressive burst damage coming from board they need an answer to the far mercy combo bastion at the start of that map could have been that answer however jafar's bastion just did a really good job out playing the uh cybers bastion like i said when the cybers stay grouped up they really do have a solid pulse on when to use the resources just to draw away fire and help their other teammates stay up and alive. However, the Golden Knights are really able just to kind of go for a pincer approach, just to keep them away no from each other, scatterbrain, yeah. and eventually picked off. So we'll see if the Cybers are able to pick up on what the Golden Knights are putting down, as they will switch the tables on defense and have this very open area of the first point of Rialto to uh, contend with. However, see, I was about to make a point of Jafar going with Ash because we never see Ash. Now I see the Torb, and I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. I guess getting ready for the Torb buff. I guess. Very true. Very That's fine. True. Molten Core cause being reduced by 10%. I found my new main. <laughs> But we'll see. It's too bad Everyone I can't slept aim. On tour. Hey, who needs to aim? It's Overwatch. It'll be fine. Do a little dance. Do you see another uh, offensive bunker comp this time with Bort and Fitris on the Farah Mercy as well? Jafar this time switching to the Bastion. I was a little excited for a Torb. I'm not gonna lie. But we'll see as uh, 
The Cybear is set up in the same spot. Kinetic Grasp is out while the shield is shredded, so a nice way to save everything there. Keep an eye on Bort if we can. Both teams doing a good job forcing resources out of each other. We saw Immortality Field come out. However, we did see both shields go down for the side bears. Or going for a behind the scenes approach, just drawing away enemy fire as the rest of the team begins their advance of the payload. Now pushing through that really tight short point there. Oh, Relatively Widow. uncontested. Widow in the back lane. Shut down by Bort with a little bit of help from the Baptiste. We did see as well, like you were saying, just Bort spreading out the enemy team. They bring them together right there with a hull, and then Bort just goes to town as the dueling immortality fields are out. The one is down for the uh, for the Cybears. And we'll keep an eye on how they de decide to push up here as it is closing in on the objective. Three minutes to go, though. Tons of time remaining as they will get to the first checkpoint. Golemites have made their advance to the first point here in Rialto, and we see a damage amplified ultimate coming out from Bort with a 3k, make that 4, a critical play there as the Golden Knights continue to advance uncontested, what a play there by the Golden Knights, picking off the Cybear's healers, make that a healer and a DPS, Dirk just popping off right now, riding the momentum that uh, Bort avails to the rest of the team there. My goodness, what an absolute fabulous play, and that will lead the Golden Knights to victory here on Rialto. That brings us to the end of Game 2. We'll be right back.
and welcome back everyone for game three we'll find ourselves is that here Brigida? at king's road <laughs> that is Brigida. not a lot of Brigida is in the double shield meta they're really the changing rework. it up here my goodness we do see the two tanks tracer well. <laughs> everyone my is different goodness. oh except petra says good old lucio how nice <laughs> yeah, there's, there's something to keep me grounded in this and all this change that I'm seeing. Scrunchy on wild. Zarya. It's the wild, Zarya wild, in wild. double meta, Josh. That's yep. fine. I, I'm, I'm it is, it's more than fine. I am elated. Uh, excuse different. me, we have double shields right now with Reinhardt and Zarya, That's so you watch true. your mouth, We're sir. bringing it back to basics. <laughs> the synergy between Ryan and Zarya is a legendary bromance that cannot be understood. I want to watch Bort. <laughs> I also want to really watch Bort. A high this ground does. flanker. That's always got a recipe for some fun. Oh, well, they oh, offensive we bunker. Saw, we saw they were initially going to go for the supports. Decided to change their attention to the Bastion. Oh. Seeing that the uh, Cyber is not really contesting board. Oh, we did see a little bit of chip damage there. Yeah. However, board did a good job of retreating. Ooh, However, out. Ooh, we are seeing uh, Doomfish is going for a little bit more of a, hey, get away from my team approach. <laughs> we're seeing the Cyber is actually making their first They're approach really pushing. to the point. A push indeed. However, we do see a bit of a flank coming from board. However, ooh. Ooh, narrowly escaped oh. danger, able to get that pick. Both the DPS now down for the Cybers. However, this team fight is far from over as the Cybers were able to get a, their first uh, point off of point one here. Sigma now falls as the team fight has ended in victory wow. for the Golden Knights. They were able to push back the advance on the Cybers. So the Cybers did a really good job just not being daunted in the face of those picks, able to get that first pick off of point A here on King's Row. We do see a pulse bomb for Bort, setting up in a similar place, a bit lower this time. Oh, don't do it to it. Don't be mean. Oh, they're you're gonna be mean. Oh, oh, they're all grouped up, however. Oh, stop the tree. Oh, immortality field is thrown out and able to Very save their nice. life. Again, really good resource management by the Cybers. It's really working out in their favor here in this map as they're getting their approach again on the point. Before we saw them going down on main, now we're seeing them going for cover on the point here on the left side. And I see a Reaper now in play for the Cybers as yeah. well. We did McCree see as that well. Sigma was able to force out the Black Hole. However, will get shut down by a good old-fashioned melee attack from Jafar. Another immortality, immortality field now in play. Jafar doing a good job taking out. However, immortality field now in play a grab now out in full force as the golden knights pop two of their ults just to force back the cybers back to their spawn Ooh. not without getting a 4k though that was very spicy. well coordinated effort that was mm, crisp and clean no caffeine there but we do see a bit port <laughs> on genji oh i love this interesting switch <laughs> off here i can we watch it dad can we watch oh absolutely <laughs> i saw you did all your homework straight a's <laughs> And it appears that the Golnets have done their homework on the Cybers. They've yes. done a really good job just downloading oh. their playstyle here. Once again, the Cybers going for a very offensive approach, not being daunted in the going face of the side push. being destroyed. Baptiste getting a bit of a challenge here in the back line from Bort Genji. Bort just getting out there in the nick of nice. time as Reaper knows his presence. However, he'll fly right into an ultimate, being kept up by some very solid heals from the Golden Knight support, able to get that crucial pick off of one of the Cybers tanks. Iona goes down, forcing a coalescence out. However, another pick as now the Reaper goes down for the Cybers. However, this team fight refuses to end. The Cybers oh. trying to get their stake here. However, they will get shut down with a rally and a Dragon Blade coming out with a <laughs> three. A 3K I saw yeah. there coming out there from the blade. Pop off, my guy. It must, Very well played. Must be nice to be able to control that ultimate. I sure can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll keep an eye out. Uh, as Quatch is on Earth Shatter, I'd like to see that. Let's see. Ooh, a high ground Brigitte. Yeah. What is Dirk doing up there? I I, I, there. Oh, oh stun a though! Terrific stun there and a shutdown by a Death Blossom coupled with the wall. Solid resource management there by the Cybers. Forcing Jafar to pop out his ultimate just to get some picks with the supports now down the Cybers are going in with no heals as they make their claims to the point However, it appears that there is someone there just trying yep. to contest However, it won't be enough as Bort goes down and the Cybers complete their capture of point A here on King's Row The rest of the Cybers tanks doing a good job just pushing up creating that needed space for that cleanup there Two minutes on the clock now. We'll see how the Cybers continue their advance here on King's Row. And now, a quick ultimate check, Josh. Yes, let's. Uh, now that the point is secured, as we see Scrunchy and Fentress 
have ultimates online. Bort is getting close. Uh, we do see, as you were saying, off meta choices. Fitris does pop sound barrier, able to save them from the draft lots. Now Blizzard thrown out as well. Oh, Ooh, see it watch. That wall there preventing <laughs> the heals from Dirk. And Cyber is able to get that pick off the clutch. However, they invested a lot of resources into that. So we'll see how that pays off for them as they continue their advance here. Another very impressive May wall coming out, just kind of diluting the Golden Knights offense here. Halo continues its advances. Reaper did a good job just creating havoc for the St. Rose Golden Knights back line as the supports go down. We see Bort just doing a, being a one-man army here, just trying to hold off as long as possible. Just trying Run. not to get frozen by May. Just trying to get some havoc there for the Cybers back line. However, it appears the Cybers are continuing to advance relatively uncontested. Dirk does have rally, so we'll see how they're able to stall the advance here as the rest of the Golden Knights group up. Jafar coming back from spawn now, but may have hit their ultimate online as this team fight begins. Jafar's coming back with a third tactical visor. We thought Dirk with Coalescence was impressive, but really able to build up this ultimate so quickly. So you see Fitris just trying to save everyone. Oh, the tactical is visor is... Visor. Yeah. Immortality so field. Get immortality field out of play, which they are able to. However, another very juicy wall coming out from the Cybers DPS, able just to throw off the aim. However, Death Blossom coming out is able to get two picks. However, two picks will cost the Cybers five picks on their own end, as the whole team gets shut down by some very well coordinated offense by the Gold Knights. You know, we t we talked about Jafar with the uh, with the third tactical visor. Uh, very quietly, Bort just popped their third Dragon Blade. That's right, my goodness. The DPS here on the Golden Knights <laughs> are just flexing ridiculously <laughs> with their emotes right now. My goodness. They have the families. Disrespect. They have families, my guy. You gave them an inch, they take a mile. Three ultimates build over the course of one match. Oh, Dirt Falls early. It. Ooh. That'll be a very crucial pick for the Cybers, as they did force out a halt from the Golden Knights tanks as well. Scrunchy going down. I didn't even notice the hog switch there. Very crucial resources coming out from the Cybers. They may be able to push this point yet. However, Bort doing a good job trying to contest as long as possible. We'll see if the Golden Knights are able to get back to point before the Cybers are able to cap and get that clock off of overtime. They won't be able to as the Cybers avail themselves an extra minute and a half on the clock as they begin their advance to the last point here. However, we do see Bort coming up on their fourth. Dragon Blade here. I like this game. This is fun. <laughs> this is a very fun match. The Cyber is really coming into their own here, starting to download the Golden Knights playstyle. They're staying grouped up. That's what's working for them so much. In this oh, match. they're grouped. Oh, I may This could be huge. There. The Achilles heel of being grouped up. A is team, a solo team kill. For a solo team kill. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I stand corrected. The Golden Knights are really able to take advantage of the Cybers staying grouped up there. <laughs> the immediate Taylor. switch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you gotta quit while you're ahead. What a play by Bort going in. As they were all grouped up together, it was the perfect time for a Dragon Blade. The immortality field was already used, so it couldn't come back into play. And Ooh. Bort just hates them apart. But Zeiser now. Very good usage of the Cypher's wall by Bort. Able to use oh. it just to position himself and get out of Farm's way. Again, able to get a pick off of the DPS while doing so. Dirt with Coalescence now online. Jafar just trying to wiggle his way in, get some damage in there. Dirk is the only one with an uh, with ultimates online. Jafar going in on the back lines, targeting the Moira, takes her out. Ooh. Now the Sigma as well, going after the Arisa, not able to get it. Now does, Iona is taking down a three three piece there. Zeron Kart, the Immortality Field is out as well. Bort and Jafar cleaning up, clutch as well, Cybers takes out Aki. trickling in, it's up to May now to buy as much time as possible as the rest of the Cybers come in to Not regroup. doing bad. Yeah, really, that's what wow. able to get a freeze off as well. Coalescent. Oh, and now a Winston. We see the dive comp coming back to King's Row as we are in overtime. Keep in mind, the Golden Knights do have to stay on the card. Shafar does have Death Blossom. Activates it early. Trying to clean everyone off a point. Two with the Blossom. One with a melee. Oh, my goodness. A 4K off of that. Make that five, and that'll be it. Round one complete here on King's Row. That was eight. just round one? That, yeah. <laughs> Felt like a full game, didn't My it? My goodness. Uh, very well played offensive by the Cybers and really well played by the Gold Knights. Able to adapt appropriately and shut down the advance with some very solid DPS. Now we'll see how the Golden Knights change their approach as we see them here on attack. I... I can't get over that solo team kill. See, yeah, I was just about to bring it back to that. Um, can If that's not playing the game, can we retire from casting? Uh, it's a deal. All right, cool. It's a deal. <laughs> just, 
If they, it's I don't not even... Pog, I'll give up the scratches. How about that? <laughs> Dad, you're home. <laughs> I don't even think, if I recall, I mean, hopefully we'll see the replay, but I don't think they were even halted together. NYIT just kind of grouped up perfectly and said, here you go, here's your team kill. It's a classic case of commentator's curse. I was just commending them for staying grouped up because we saw earlier on Rialto the fact that they weren't grouped up just allowed right. them to get picked off. But right. here it worked as their Achilles heel as prime oh, 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 just to oh, this get is in fun. there and just get all those crucial juicy kills off of that dra it wasn't even like nanoed either we no just now we see that now yeah, yeah, oh yeah. i'm really looking forward to that as well as the jafar flits it's no jeff blossom but oh the flits all the flits please <laughs> we'll see that scrunchy does go back to the trident all right so they do go back to trident true double shield meta as we do see uh genji baptiste widow and anna the other pits here as St. Rose gets ready to go on the attack, they will have to get it through the first two checkpoints, and then at least 38 meters after that. So we'll keep an eye on if they can do it. Can I watch Widow, please? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Oh, hang on. Spectre, the controls are hard. Does Widow not exist? All right. I did see the switch off from Widow. The Golden Knights did yeah. a really good job of throwing off the opponent team as and well me. as their own comments. Yeah, it's great, players. right? Oh, going in behind the point board immediately and being boosted up by the uh, by the Ana and getting shot by the health boost there. No one knows he's there. Oh, and that'll cost him dearly as Bort just goes in for another team kill. My goodness, man, the resource management, the positioning, lambs to the slaughter. Beautiful work there by the Golden Knights as they will finish their first cap here relatively fluently, elegantly. More adjectives for just magnificent <laughs> plays by the Golden Knights there. At what point are we witnessing cyberbullying when it comes to Bort? Just on this gadget. Can we see this full time now? Is he part of the meta again? Oh, Unbelievable like, play. Hey, Bort's making a really good case for him. And we see the first blade online. <laughs> oh, it, it, that was early. Oh! oh very beautiful wall there by the Cybers, <laughs> able to completely They had that enough. Dragon. They refused to get popped off again like that. Oh, he it's still like, wants it, though. It's like, you came into my house with your shoes on, I'm just gonna let you rub the mud on them on my carpet like that. You're gonna have to work for that part. And we're working for it in spades, able to deflect a lot of amplified damage back at the Cybers. Ooh. Cybers doing a really good job just keeping each other kept up. They're able to get that critical pick with Bort now out of play. Dirk now out of play as well. Gravity's doing a really good job creating some breathing room for the Cybers and some havoc on the Sumeru's back line, pushing back the advance. Yep. They're going to fall back and get ready here. Still rolling with the same composition. Uh, Clutch is on, or does have ultimate online now with the Supercharger. So you see how fast you far can build those blossoms. So yes. Where are you going? Oh. That's a second Dragon Blade. Another team kill by the Golden Knights. Stop, they're already dead. Good lord, man. First we saw Genji popping off. Now we yep. see Reaper popping off. It's yeah. like those like pop caps just to play with the recess. Just pop up after <laughs> pop up. I can't take it. I wasn't going to think. I like that analogy. I like that. <laughs> it's better than the food ones you were throwing out last couple of weeks. You've been making I me hungry, hungry, man. Dude, yeah. I work late nights. <laughs> and we do see Death Blossom online, so it may be good night for the Cybers. Double you... taints as well. With Fitress's amplification matrix. Again, might be Cyber willing to hit Q all at once, but. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. It works as the Golden Knights continue their advance here to the final point here on King's Row, going for the prime positioning. Let's see if they're able to shut down the coalescence as they are able to. The support's now down for the Cybers. The tanks are their only last bastion here. Doomfist has done a lot of resource here for the Cybers, also goes down. Didn't even have to use the Death Blossom, and that was just a big team fight there. We saw Bort get two with the dash, and oh, oh they did it to point! Narrowly able to prevent Moira from getting back for the final contest there. We saw all the cues coming out there from the Cybers, but it just wasn't enough. A brilliant display of Yay. offense there. Let's see. Wh which one is it going to be? The first <laughs> one? <laughs> well, I don't think it's the one where he got walled off. So yeah, they weren't even halted together. They were just staying grouped up. And then we saw the, dra or the Blizzard came out, but just a little oh too late. 
Oh my goodness! He, he did that with a blizzard applying pressure. Yep. Brilliant mobility there. Fifteen by dragon blade kills seven dragon blades in that match. My God, the DPS very well earning their cards here. However, big commendable props there for the Cyber as more 23k healing in a 12 minute match. That's commendable. Yep. So with that, St. Rose will take Teens Row and they will take the match three to nothing. Uh, we are going to tune in to Team B's matchup, depending where they are. That's a good question. Uh, but we will keep an eye on them and keep you updated when we will be right back. Ted, are you leaving me? I will have to leave All now, right. but a very big thank you to everyone for joining us for a spectacular display by the Golden Knights. Very well played by both teams. We'll be right back.
Welcome back here for Team B's match against Paul Smith's. Just to catch everyone up, we are on map number two, Rialto. Map number one went to the Golden Knights. It was Busan. Went in the favor of the Golden Knights 2-1. to one. And now as we get set here, Paul Smith's was on the attack here on Rialto first. They, held them at, they were held at the first choke, so they did not get to the first checkpoint. Now the Golden Knights will go on the attack to try to beat that and take a 2-0 to zero match lead. So we are paused here, getting set for everyone. We'll do a quick prep here as we get ready for round number two on map number two. Golden Knights on the attack and Paul Smith's defending. And let's get back into it as the pause comes to an end. We'll keep an eye on how the Golden Knights plan for their attack here. Ready for battle. So you see the Golden Knights in the top right of your screen. Or, I'm sorry, top left. Nice that I know my rights and my lefts, right? And we keep an eye on Golden Knights here in free cam. Just updating the scores for you guys. All right, should be easier to keep track of now. Nice to have free cam back, right? So keep an eye on how the Golden Knights will plan their attack here. We do see Farah Mercy as well, a, cons a consistent between teams A and B here. Interesting composition for Paul Smith's. Blades is on Jump Rap Bomber on Soldier. Esports, or Paul, I guess Paul says College Esports on Lucio. Hawking on Sigma, Alex Robot on the Robot Arisa, and Toxic Kawai on Mercy. So you see them getting into the action early here. Nachi does fall first at the hands of Just Blades. Now Mario in as the Farah gets two. Kawhi brings the soldier back into the fight, but Mar Marcus is taken out by the Steel Trap. Sigma v Sigma here, crits, and Hawk. So they're going for it. Marcus is brought back up by Bone Jane, who's the Mercy. We'll flash over to Kelji here. As the point is on the move, the Bastion is taken out. That was Nachi. Crits with two pits there as well. A soldier also fell off the map. Marcus takes out Just Blades. And Golden Knights will continue to move. They are closing on that checkpoint slowly but surely. We do have a whopping three minutes left. We do see Mario with Rocket Barrage as well. We'll see how they plan to use these ultimate crits. Has one as well. As they fall back here. Again, Barrage, Mario taking damage, but stays alive. Now healed back up by Bone Jangles. Now we see the Jump Rat just causing a little bit of trouble. Again, closing in on that objective. Ultimates are coming out. Hughes are being pressed. No ultimates online for Paul Smith. It's just going to have to be pure steel here against the ultimates. Mario, Nachi with three. Mario and Pritz with pits of their own. A team kill at the end. Golden Knights will take Rialto. Golden Knights take Rialto here after getting it too past where Paul Smith's had it to, almost to the final first checkpoint. So we see Crits the Sigma with the play of the game. Grab Flux going up, sending four up in the air, including a dead Roadhog. Kawhi slammed back down and killed. Ooh, nice accretion. Takes out Bomber, Hawking all fall. And that will do it for round er, map number two, Rialto. Two to nothing lead for the Golden Knights. We'll be right back.
And welcome back as we get set for map number three here, Eidenwald. Haven't seen this one in a little while. St. Rose at the top left, Paul Smith's top right of your screens. Do a quick map overview as we get set here on Eidenwald. See a couple changes coming from the Golden Knights as well as AFM, Audi, and Naji all find their way into the match. No changes coming on the side of Paul Smiths. Golden Knights will start out on defense here. We do see Mario on the patented Farah and Audi the Mercy in tow. So we'll see how they try to go as we see Hawkins starting out on the Wrecking Ball. See if that lasts, but I like the play. As someone who likes to be the most annoying heroes as possible, the only thing better would be a May. Not annoying at all. Same with Sombra. Just ask Ted. So we get set here. Paul Smith gets ready to leave point. I'm going to keep an eye on Hawk and the Wrecking Ball. See which route they decide to take. Already in ball form, and off they go to the races. Looking to gain some speed. Going up. Now falls back down a bit. Now in the enemy back lines. Going right for point. On point and capping. St. Rose figures it out, Marcus on point, and now the Wrecking Ball will retreat, looking for this needy back cap, but was found out not long after the attempt. As they're held up at the infamous first choke here on Eichenwald, right under the bridge. AFM going with D.Va here, and then we see Bunker Comp the rest of the way, Audi and Nachi, Marcus and Mario. Marcus does fall, Jesse Blades takes them out, switching from Junkrat to McCree this time. Wrecking Ball slams down, no kills coming after that, but Blades gets Nachi again. Marcus brought back into the fight by Audi. Now Mario is close to Barrage, does have it, not using it yet. As Paul Smiths is a little spread out, Wrecking Ball booped off the side, can they save it? No kill yet, they were able to save it. Immortality Field is taken out as well as Mario. Now Bomber takes out Marcus Alex with the accretion on Audi. Takes them out. AFM on point, out of mech though. Sound Barrier comes out from Paul Smiths as Hawking does end up falling. So it's like they were dangling on the edge there. It seemed like, not a waste of a Sound Barrier, but it could have seemed like they won the fight without it. Uh, but they do decide to use it. Otherwise, Mario does have Rocket Barrage and Blades does have Deadeye. So we'll keep an eye and Kawhi as well with Valkyrie. Audi getting close to that as well. Mario just trying to rain some damage from right above the choke. Being picked off by Just Blades though. The two with ultimates battling for it. Mario pops first, able to get two. Looking for a third, can't get it as Bomber Helix Rockets takes them out. Audi with the res, no one saw it. Mario's brought back into the fight. Now trying to escape the damage being done. Audi does have Valtteri as well, Wrecking Ball just causing trouble, as a Wrecking Ball does, High Noon, here it comes, Mario takes out Hammond though, Nachi does have ultimate, not using that, just trying to feed into the Sigma, who grasps out of most of that, four ultimates online for the Golden Knights, just the one for Paul Smiths, it's Valtteri, but now M-Bomber does have Tactical Vision. In behind the defense, takes out the Immortality Field, now sprints past everyone and right back in, halted back in by Telji, takes them out as the Supercharger is down for the Golden Knights. AFM, AFM is out of mech, taken out by Alex the Robot. Audi trying to heal Mario back up as Mario is just trying to lay some damage, but Blades with the pick on the McCree. As you see, the cart continues to move. Three ultimates online, four Paul Smiths, and four for St. Rose. Getting close to the Nets checkpoint here. St. Rose looks like they're going to fight it. There's five Paul Smith's members on point. Now the minefield is out from Hawkin. And now Alex the Robot lifts up, it looks like two or three as it point, or as the cart reaches the Nets point. Sound barrier as well from from the generic esports account, I guess we'll call them. Mario with Rocket Barrage just laying some damage on, not gonna press Q when they don't need to. Now needs to. Kawhi and Robot take now. Bomber Blades as well. Hawking does take out Mario though. So able to pick off four, but two on cart still 
for Paul Smith. St. Rose is going to fight that. Marcus is in there. Heals back up. Immortality Field is down, so able to save their life as well as AFM the Divas. Mario is going to switch to Junkrat here. We've seen him play Junkrat quite a bit. Uh, so we'll see how they decide to use that. Get a nice rip tire. Really open some things up here. Look at the explosive heroes. I like that. High Noon once again. Just Blades pops it. Unable to get a pick. Bomber does take AFM out of mech. Marcus just trying to lay some damage on. Just Blades is taken out. Nachi falls though as well. Being res backed up by the Mercy. Able to get it now. Nachi right on cart in recon mode. Looking to get in the turret mode. Can't find a safe place. As Lucio with two pits. Tactical vision as well. From the soldier able to take out Nachi after that. Four ultimates online for the Golden Knights. They might have to use them here as it's closing in on the point. Valkyrie is in is out on the field at the hands of Kawhi. Amplification Matrix out as well. Could see AFM with a nice Diva Bomb. Looking for it. Gets out of mech. Drops the bomb down and Bomber falls. And now Nachi goes in ultimate as well. Looking to clear out the proximity mines. Does take out Hawken as well. Kawhi does bring Bomber back into the fight. Bradflots is out from Paul Smith's. Supercharger out from Golden Knights as well. As Telji gave up their life for that one. Two pits there from Paul Smith's. AFM is also out of mech. Sigma is down. For Paul Smiths, Audi brings Kelchi back in the fight and gives up their own life for it. Now Mario and Just Blades trade. Kelchi falls as well. Keep an eye on Hawkin just looking to cause some issues here. St. Rose needs to stall and get everyone back. Riptire is out from Mario. Trying to do some damage here. Unable only gets Bomber. The Immortality Field came out from Marcus. That fell. Now the res comes out on the Lucio from Kawhi. Here, jump rat, rip tire, and Nachi takes it out before it can do any damage. Nice play by Nachi there. No ultimates online, so it's a battle with LeBron here. As Nachi does have ultimate, but falls before they can use it. Now being res back up with the immortality field as well to provide double insurance. We'll see if Nachi decides to pop or not. Sigma throws a barrier as well as the kinetic grasp. Oh, he went with Valdry, but fell right away as Telchi gets two pits and bombers brought back into the fight. Nachi does fall before they can use the ultimate again. Marcus does have Amp Matrix, but no one really to use it with. Marcus is taken out. Now a sound barrier out from the Lucio for Paul Smith as well. Now Hawkin drops mines, is trapped, but is able to escape before falling. Now going after AFM, who is out of map. Nachi now in ultimate form, looking to rain some damage, but Soldier takes them out. Popped another tactical vision. Yet yeah, another one. AFM is going back into mech now, and a full clean up there from Paul Smith, they will get the cart to the end, and we will go to round two. The Golden Knights will get ready to attack here on Item Vault. And let's get ready for round number two here as the Golden Knights once again going on the attack. We do see Bastion set up for both sides. Mercy as well, but no far. So just the second half of that uh, comp. Keep an eye as Telji takes a bunch of damage and falls at the hands of Just Blades. He's just laying damage from behind shields. The mortality field is forced from Marcus. Now Mario does take out Just Blades, though. That's a big kill being res back up by Kawhi and pits them back up. 
AFM coming back from spawn. Again, Kelji just taking the bulk of the damage from the Bastion for Saint or er, for uh, Paul Smith's goodness. Mario is going to switch to Farah, so we will see that Farah Mercy come into play. Just bleeds. Just past the halfway point for ultimate. I don't think anyone sees Mario yet. Oh, now they do. It's the soldier bomber going in after it. Now four of them trying to focus Mario. Could be a good point for St. Rose to try to move up past that infamous first choke. Mario boops back. And now AFM just trying to put some shield up, protect the rest of their team. Lucio taking out four Paul Smiths. Mario again taking damage. Bastion is up top. Taking out double there as AFM is able to take out Bomber as well. Now going after the Sigma. Still up, but getting low. Now falls, and now the res on the Bastion, though. That could be trouble. Unable to get it is Mario is trying to lay some damage on. Does have Barrage. Doesn't need to use it yet. St. Rose is taking it without any contest currently. Still holding. No one really ended up pushing for Paul Smiths. As they kind of stayed bunkered out, just waiting out the fight. Playing it a bit passively. St. Rose will take control of the point and the escort will begin. Continue to watch Mario as he does have Barrage. Just Blades does have ultimate as well, the Bastion for Paul Smiths. Again, the Bastion going after Mario and Just Blades falls at the end. No ultimate can be popped and they will have to make their way back from spawn. Just kidding, rezzed up by the Mercy. Just Blades taken out, now Lucio and Mercy just trying to heal their Bastion back up. Just missed the accretion on Mario, who's doing some damage. Four ultimates online, four the Golden Knights, three, four Paul Smiths. Mario again doing damage, taking some damage from Bomber, the soldier. Do see Lucio with Sound Barrier, popped in a little preemptively a couple times. We'll see if that comes back to bite them. Flies in behind, no one saw him. Mario with the Barrage able to pick off two. Now the Sound Barrier comes, it's a little late though. Now, oh, the Bastion is pinned by Reinhardt, but it's a triple kill there from Paul Smiths. Just Blades did end up falling at the end. Audi is set up on point with the rest of the Golden Knights. It is contested right before the door. That looks like Arisa. That could be a tough takeout. And falls. Still contested. Getting close. Lucio is right on card. No one sees him. To the right-hand side as well as Sigma and Mercy. Now Lucio just trying to kind of flying around out there. The Immortality Field has to be popped to save Nachi. Now the Immortality Field is taken out by Just Blades. Nachi and Mario did pits of their own. Still contested as Sigma is right on top of Tart, right in Nachi's face. Gets the pit. Kelji pits off Sigma. Just Blades. Martyrdom is able to take out Marcus, though. Supercharger is popped from Hawkins, but taken out immediately as Kelji takes them out as well. Red's coming for Nachi. The Tart reaches the objective, and we will continue. Five ultimates online for the Golden Knights just the one for Paul Smith to beat Valkyrie. Mario, the lone golden knight without ultimate. It's okay. Still do damage up there. And building that barrage up pretty quickly. Already at 66%. So you see AFM with Shatter able to get four of them, but no one followed it up. Now Nachi goes into ultimate form, able to pick off two. Now three. Mario pits off uh, Just Blades as well, but Marcus again falls to the martyrdom. Mario playing damage once again. Accretion once again misses. A double for Nachi with the help of Mario. Does have Barrage as Wrecking Ball is just going to try to stall on point. I hear a rip tire. It's over off to the left hand side of AFM. Able to pick off Nachi and Kelji as well. We'll see if Audi goes for a res. He's able to bring Nachi back into the fight after going with Valkyrie. Mario went for ultimate but is shut down by Bomber. Now we see Nachi under the immortality field, just pouring some damage on, going after Just Blades, unable to get him, he's super low. Kawhi brings Bomber back into the fight after being taken out by Nachi. Now Nachi falls himself. Sound Barrier once again out from Paul Smiths, again with interesting usage on the Sound Barrier. Just Blades with two pits at the end there. Kawhi still has Valkyrie, didn't need to use it last team fight. Could come in bait here as Marcus does have Amp Matrix and Kelji has Supercharger. We do have over two and a half minutes to get the cart to the end and force overtime. Or extra rounds, I should say.
Nachi is smacking the shields, now smacking the uh, wrapping ball is Hawken, taking it out. Nachi does have ultimate, doesn't need to use it yet. Moving up with the rest of the team, AF Matrix is out, and Nachi has a best friend now. Raining damage on, shreds the shield, shreds out the robot with the help of Kelji. They do res, unable to get it off though, as to why it did have to go into Valkyrie. Area denied by the Hammond, takes a bunch of damage, but that shield is just so powerful. Two pits there for Bomber as well, just played pits off AFM. Bomber again with Kelji, Mario's last man standing. He's gonna fall back just a bit, but still raining damage on, and falls at the hand of Bomber. A, an interesting rip tire there from Just Blades. Let's keep an eye out. St. Rose is all grouped up here. Five seconds to go, and it's taken out. It seemed like a bit of a waste of an ultimate there, if you ask me. It's Telji's able to take that out. Nachi does have ultimate. And Mario as well. So two big DPS ultimates here for the Golden Knights. Audi does have Valkyrie as well. As Marcus is able to take out that pesky wrecking ball, Hammond is out of the fight, and that could be huge. Audi goes into Valkyrie. Mario once again looking for an opening for the barrage. Can't find it though. Sigma throws up his barrier and absorbs most of the damage being done. Now the barrage comes out, but stunned by the attrition and a sound barrier once again for Lucio. Just keeps throwing him out there. Nachi sets up in turret form, but does have ultimate AFM going for the shatter. Able to pick off three. Nachi takes out Lucio. AFM gets back behind the shield. Only one pick coming at the hands. Of that stun, Robot is able to retreat and Nachi. Audi brings Nachi back into the fight. Amplification Matrix, but Nachi can't get set up behind it. Bomber takes them out. Just Blades with another Rip Tire. Built that up so quickly. As two are down for the Golden Knights. Another Rip Tire. Here it comes. Going for it. And takes out AFM right on the cart. Under 30 seconds to go here, St. Rose is going to have to make one last coordinated push as Mario and the Immortality Field are both taken out, now Audi as well. Looks like they're staggering a bit. Going to try to group back up as Mario switches back to Jump Rat. Here comes Nachi putting some damage on, trying to shred the barriers, take them out of play early. Here comes Wrecking Ball right on top of Nachi. And another Minefield drops it right on top of them. Bomber takes out Kelji as well. The Mines ended up taking down Nachi. Just Blades is able to take out the Rhine, and that will do it. Eichenwald will go to Paul Smith's. They stand strong on defense and take map number three to get this match to two to one. We will be right back.
welcome back for map number four here we find ourselves at temple of anubis as the golden knights look to hold off paul smiths as the match has found itself at two to one see how both teams decide to set up saint rose is going to defend first we've seen point a usually go to the opponent point b is when things get very interesting but we'll see how the Golden Knights decide to set up and if they want to go full meta or not. It looks like they are going a bit of bunker with the double shield meta as well. Do you see Hawken back on that wrecking ball? Could be big here. One of those maps where you can just fly to point and then cause damage once you're already there. Night set up in Bunker Comp right on the usual choke, and let's get right into it at Temple of Anubis. Looks like there here comes a wrecking ball, went for the grapple, but missed, so has to exit ball form. Now activate shield going right for point, but uh, veered off by Mario the Farah. Not taken out, but scared away the hamster. Now taken out by Critz the Sigma. See Paul Smith's kind of bunkered up or kind of bunched up a little bit, halted together as Mario continues to rain some damage. We didn't find any stragglers, but Paul Smith is trying to stay in right there. His wrecking ball is in, does a bit of damage. Crits with another pit, this time on out, it's the robot, the Sigma. So keep an eye as Mario continues to do some damage. Nachi is getting closer and closer to ultimate, sitting behind the shield comfortably, taking some damage, but immediately being healed back up. Now Halt is up, Attrition is out, Kawhi brings Just Blades back into the fight after they were taken out. Now Trits with a third pick on Bomber this time. Nachi again getting close, going after the Wrecking Ball behind, and right when you think there was an opening, it's the opening is shut. It's Bone Jangles coming up on Amp Matrix as well. Nachi does have ultimate. As you see, with someone on point now for Paul Smiths. Looks like Lucio and taken out now as Bomber has made it his responsibility to take out Mario the Farah. Getting low. Doesn't pop health field though. Immortality field is out. Now Alex and Robot Crits again popping off his Sigma a bit here. Wrecking Ball again just on point. They're choosing to ignore him. Nachi is taking a bunch of damage trying to heal back up and now is by the Baptiste. Nachi pits off Bomber and Clutch going with just blades taking them out of the fight two on point now wrecking ball had to shield to get away again just being a nuisance bat there always in the back of the golden knight's mind five ultimates online for them and four for paul smiths could see a lot of ultimates come out in this next team fight 145 to go though on point a crits again this time out it's not out it's the robot one sigma is certainly winning this battle Mario goes in, looking to rain some damage. They saw him, but not going to do anything about it. There he is denied. Nachi denies that life, though, as Hawking is taken out. Now Barrage behind. No one saw Mario coming. Can't hit the Junk Rat, though, but able to pick off the Lucio and Soldier. Now Crits cleans up with the Junk Rat. Crits really showing their, their Sigma prowess on Anubis. Nachi continues to rain some damage, though. And here comes the Wrecking Ball once again. Tried and true, but... Tried and false as he just keeps feeding, going in and trying to stir up some trouble here for the Golden Knights, but they are sticking together, and Paul Smiths will regroup just a bit. One minute to go. St. Rose holding so strong on defense here. Grasps, saves most of that damage there. Three ultimates online now for Paul Smiths and four for the Golden Knights. Again, Wrecking Ball just coming in. Immortality Field does have to come out to save Nachi, though, so that is taken out of the play. I do hear a rip tire, and it takes out Bone Jangles' Immortality Field. That's all it gets. His Martyrdom does take out Bone Jangles, though. Nachi with a double. Now Bomber gets two of their own. It's 4v4 here. Tactical Vision is activated by Soldier as well. He is stunned, but still has Tat Vision. Able to take out Mario the Farah. Five ultimates once again for the Golden Knights, and Nachi just mows that down. Nachi going back to point now again. Wrecking Ball. Is going to stun or to stall on point. Here comes Just Blade. Sound barrier as well for the Lucio for Paul Smith. It's getting a bit hairy here. Mario 
coming back to point as quick as possible. The only one, well now crits with no ultimate as well. Amplification made out from Bone Jane was crit switches to the Wrecking Ball, trying to get back to point. Bone Jane was doing some damage through that amp matrix. Hawking takes out Mercy. Bone Jane was takes out their own Mercy as well. Nachi does have ultimate, but it's been a long walk back to point. Crits is stalling. And is doing a pretty good job of it, knocking everyone off a point. Mario is able to pick off Bomber. They do have a chance here. Mario does have Barrage, but doesn't want to play they're going to get ready to use it yet. Nachi does enter ultimate. And taken out immediately. Now the Barrage coming from Mario. It takes out Wrecking Ball. And then the Sigma Barrier comes up and blots Mario as well. It looks like Paul Smiths will take point A here. They will. St. Rose will fall back and defend point B with three minutes to go. Ultimate check, the only one online being Just Blades Riptire. Just Blades going for a bit of flank here. We'll see if the Golden Knights have found out. Being accompanied by the Lucio, you see a bit of a battle on point. Hawking does end up dropping mines right on point. And Not G has made it his responsibility to clean up those proximity mines, minimizing the damage. Riptire is out though. Here it comes, able to take out Clutch. That's a main tank down as they make their way on to point. Hawking is low, but pouring damage on Nachi, who decides to turn the script right back on them. Clutch is brought back into the fight by Audi. Another pit for Nachi. Trying to get halted together. Can't pit off the Lucio. They're gonna fall back. Crits takes out Kawhi. Now sound barrier coming out. Once again, interesting usage of the ultimate here. Bomber is taken out this time by Clutch with the help of Nachi. Now the Lucio in just trying to wall ride to avoid most of the damage. We do see Nachi with ultimate. Doesn't have to use it yet. No reason for it. Crits is staying on the wrecking ball now with the minefield as well. Just trying to displace the Sigma. Staying up, but it's out. It's a robot that falls in the hands of Clutch and Crits. Another ultimate check. Three online for the Golden Knights. Zero for uh, Paul Smiths. Nachi getting ready, and Mario as well, just hovering, waiting to do some damage. Now the soldier once again targeting Mario. Doesn't even take any damage though. Audi's the one that's taking the damage here. Comes the wrecking ball, back to point. Hawking just does some damage and then bats out of there. Needed to use shields to get out of there though. Four ultimates now for the Golden Knights. It's wrecking ball v wrecking ball as Crits crashes down and is gonna fall back. Oh, it's trapped by the steel trap though. This might be tough. Brought back in. Five ultimates for the Golden Knights. Valkyrie for Kawhi and Bomber has tact vision, but not using it yet. Wrecking Ball is on point. That's Hawking once again. A little past the Wrecking Ball. Here they come through the right side. Barrage activated by Mario. He pits off one grasp. Saves Sigma though. Nachi is able to pick off Hawking in the end. Now Mario in the back lines as Nachi gets another pick. Amplification Matrix inspires for Bone Jangles. Now Nachi continues to just shoot. That's all that's needed right now. It's 3v2 in terms of ultimates. Kawhi is taken out. Now it's 4v3. Crits still has mine. Still doesn't need to use them. Had no real time for them. Audi does end up going to Valkyrie. Now it's the robot goes with grab thoughts but taken out mid animation. Now we see Jump Rat take out the supercharger, but the immortality field was up, able to save most of their lives. Now Nachi pouring damage on the Lucio falls at the end. Clutch and crits clean up. Here comes the soldier. Can they get to point? No! And the Golden Knights will take or will hold off the final point B here of Paul Smith's. We will see the Golden Knights go on attack in this round and see if they can end up securing point B or at least getting a tick on it. The St. Rose held strong on defense there. Again, the Golden Knights will set up on the attack here. You see Crit starting out with Roadhog. I'd like to see that. We haven't seen much of him so far in our viewings. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. So 
see how Paul Smith decides to set up on defense. They are running bunker comp. No far though, as the as Just Blades is sticking with Jumper at the other explosive DPS. Clutch and Crits going with Zarya and Ryan. So switching off the Roadhog. Now we see Mario going back to the tried and true Farah. Audi on Mercy, Nachi as Reaper, and Bone Jangles as your Lucio. Let's get right into it, as the Golden Knights make their way out of spawn and up to the first choke. Sigma down on- the only one down on the ground. Crits is low, but stays up. Bone Jangles does fall early at the hands of Bomber. Now Bomber taking out Mario as well. Check in on Bomber, and he's still set up up top. Doesn't even have a shield guarding him currently. Audi brings Mario back into the fight. Clutch does fall, though, at the end of that one. St. Rose is going to regroup just a bit. Nachi falls after taking out Kawhi, which is a big loss for them, but don't know if the Golden Knights will be able to capitalize on that. Bastion just shreds through that shield in seconds. And now Crits makes their way back to Roadhog. Again, Bomber just doing damage on shields. And now doing damage on Crits. Clutch the only shield hero for the Golden Knights. Bomber is close to ultimate, now has it. Bomber takes a bit of damage after the shield goes down, but is able to eliminate Mario. Prince is stunned, but gets back in before taking too much damage. Always does have the uh, rebreather as well. Now shield being shredded, Crits able to save their own life at the end. Bone Jangles is going with speed boost as they're going around. Tries to pull the bomber in, and bombers pulled in. Bone Jangles and Mario get pits of their own. They're pushing their way toward point. Rip Tire is out though, and it takes out Clutch and Bone Jangles. Now we do see Nachi on point going after Sigma and Orisa, the two tanks trying to hold off the advance for the Golden Knights here. Hawk and the Orisa does fall, it's Sigma left. He is accretioned, Nachi, but still able to take out Alex the, rock, the, the robot with the help of Farah. Now Just Blades taken out as well with the help of Mario. Nachi has Death Blossom not even going to need to use it. Lucio stalling on point, taken out by Nachi. They will make their way up. Paul Smith is going to make their way, but going to fall back just a bit as Bomber the Bastion is taken out. And it looks like they're going right for point B as soon as it unlocks. Oh, Bone Jangles, the Lucio is trapped by Just Blades. Now Sound Barrier out from the Lucio for Paul Smith as well. Grab Futz as well, they were inspecting it. Drops Bone Jangles down and taken out. Mario does have Barrage, but not, not a good place to use it there. Bomber taken out by the... Bomber takes out Nachi with the ultimate as well. So that's three ultimates online for the Golden Knights. And Supercharger is out currently, and Kawhi almost has Valkyrie. Nachi does have Reaper uh, ultimate. And as well as Kritz's whole hog, this could be a huge push here from the Golden Knights. Just need to get that first tick in order to take the map. And they have almost four minutes to do it. Plenty of time to work with. Plenty of pushes left in them, but this one could be the best one with four huge ultimates online. Looks like they're pushing to the right side. So they're making their way. Here they come. They're kind of bunched up just a bit. Going after the Bastion. Now Death Blossom is out. Able to pitch off two. Crits with Whole Hog as well. Gets Just Blades. Mario pits off one with the Barrage. Quats. Clutch had thrown out the supercharger beforehand. Now Hawk and taken out. Bone Jangles takes out the Mercy, and Saint Rose will take Temple of Anubis. And they will take the match. A nice push there on point B immediately after tapping point A. And it turned out useful for them being able to use all those ultimates and take map number four. It was Clutch at the end getting all the assists as well as the kill on Bomber. A huge ultimate there and the kill on Hawken as well. So Clutch really did their own there as well as place that supercharger and get all the points in the world.
once again, the Golden Knights will take the match three to one over Paul Smiths, and that was follow or that was preempted by a three to nothing win by Team A over NYIT. Good night for St. Rose, Overwatch Team A and Team B. That's all for this one. That's all for this ECAC matchup on a Wednesday. We will see you next time. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great night. Take care.